Alright, hello then, and welcome to that project I've been talking up so much over the past few days. Yes, we're going to show how the recon drone works. I know, isn't that just amazing? You never would have thought of it. So the recon drone is a support strike package option worth 10 kills, 9 if you're using Hardline Pro like I am in these videos. The description is, you control a recon drone, targeting enemies for your team. Now that really sounds kind of underwhelming, I will admit. Before I go into this video, I'll be showing you what I'm using. Using the CM901 with attachments, using a heartbeat sensor and a grenade launcher. The XM25 grenade launcher is a secondary weapon. A frag grenade and a stun grenade as my grenades. Sleight of Hand Pro, Hardline Pro, and Marksman, because I don't have sniper rifles to use Marksman Pro on. My other streaks will be a 5 kill decoy care package and an 8 kill SAM turret, which kind of have a pretty good cohesion. My this streak is martyrdom, not that you'll ever see it. <laughs> Alright, so basically, the recon drone is a very good tool for your team. It allows you to get a lot of map information out really fast, and it'll also make you get the highest on the scoreboard, quite possibly nearly every single time you deploy it. That is a very good thing, especially if you're like me and you're looking for easy experience to level up faster. Without further ado, let us get on with it. When you're using the recon drone, you gotta keep in mind that you gotta go where the action is. Now, you see right away I'm noticing a large clump of hostiles on the map here. Like these guys, they seem like they're camping. Should be easier for my guys to clean them up. I'm looking over near Charlie because I saw several moving around there, but I guess someone got them. Still got those guys. Remember that you can't shoot your um, tag, as I call it, through closed windows or non shattered windows. But if someone has broken a window, you can shoot a beam through it. Now I'm inside here, trying to get locks on these guys. And you may have noticed an assault drone there, as did I. I tried to mark it, but nothing happened, so I guess you can't mark kill streaks with it. I guess that makes sense a little bit. Get myself a little dizzy over here. And then it's over. You always have to remember that you're just as good as your information. So try and get as many times as possible. Right away, I knock a juggernaut, which is kind of useless, but I guess it's a little helpful. I try and get on that guy as he dies before I can get him. Somehow more windows are dark, I think, so I'm a little bit easier off here. There's a guy on the right I didn't know about. So then, I'm just kind of flying around for a little bit useless with this one. Like, I've got a few marks, but I, I don't really have the entire team marked, and I don't know where they are. So it seems like they're defending Alpha here. Try and get a few good hits on before my kill streak ends, but I don't think it'll have any of it. I don't know why I didn't go back in for any more again. Probably would have gotten a few more. Oh, I do. Yeah, I don't watch this. Now right away, a SAM turret tags me. I think I'm dead, but apparently I live because there's more footage. <laughs> so I'm flying around this little building here. The mall. Or the Arcadine, I should say. And then I'm just flying back around, making a careful sweep, because I know that Sam Tour is still in the area, because I marked it on my first pass. I'm trying not to get in there, because there's people shooting at me, and that Sam is still on my case. So I'm hovering down here to try and get a few easy spots for my guys. I don't know how you can shoot through the natural foot tracker, but apparently it's possible. Now the Sam turret's down, so I swoop around towards Alpha before my streak ends. One thing you gotta keep in mind when you're using the recon drone is that you're an excellent distraction. Now in this one right away, I'm looking around trying to tag a few people, you know? Pickings are kind of slim. However, 
as you can see in just a little bit here, a sniper bullet is going to lose by. Yeah, right there, I think. So it's obvious that someone is a little angry that I'm here. Now, I'm trying to get away, but I don't think it works out so well here. But I still try and tag as many as possible before I go down. That's the key to it. If they're shooting at you, they're not shooting at your buddies. That's how you get them. Another spot where the recon drone really shines is marking entrenched positions. Now right away here, you can see they've got a pretty good force concentration at Bravo. Now I'm dropping a few marks here. I get that recon sentry, remote sentry, my bad. I've been having recon drones on the brain. So then I start marking the guys on this little sniper deck kind of deal. Go back to B for a little bit because I figure our guys need a little bit more support. Try forever to lock this guy on. Doesn't look out so well. I think he removed that remote sentry and put it back though, so now we couldn't see where it was. So then I fly around A a little bit. See, there's nothing there for me. This guy gets a little snarky. He was pretty funny in the match, if I remember right. I know there's two sentries on this balcony here. One of them shooting at me. That's a remote. Then I mark the, um, the manual one. Look around to see a little bit and ends. Now, one thing that you need to keep in mind when you're using the recon drone is that while you're an excellent distraction, nobody likes a dead recon drone. So, with this in mind, I'm going towards Bravo, marking these guys along the way to clear out my guys. Apparently there's a little lag. I dodge a javelin or a stinger or something successfully. I'm chasing this guy, and what do I find? A sand turret. Into that kill streak. Another of the many things you'll have to keep in mind with the recon drone is creativity. Now, right away I'm starting from a Charlie point here on bootleg. Cycling around looking for some guys, apparently I get flashbanged. I ain't care. Now, you should also remember to keep your SAM turret up if you're going for a recon drone heavy build. That'll ensure that you're providing the maximum amount of support possible even when you're not a gun. You should also remember you can ascend and descend pretty much at will, as long as you don't hit the um, the low signal warning or whatever it is. Basically, just stay high around the map, dodge missiles, and try and get as many people tagged as possible. It's pretty much your goal. Now around here, my cemetery gets destroyed, so I looked around. Apparently, it's just a timeout. I lag. And then that's it. Once again, you have to remember intelligence is key when you're using the recon drone. Now right away I fly towards C, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna get overrun there. And the map tends to indicate that. Right away I mark a few people. At least I try to mark a few people. Uh, there's an escort airdrop I, and I noticed this. So I start flying over there and try and tattle on people trying to steal that. Those are a pretty good haul though. I guess they took the only good thing of value in there. So I fly towards Alpha instead. Get a few good marks there. Fly back up here. And then I go back towards Charlie and rat out on the positions for the remaining 10 or so seconds of my recon drone. Coordination is key in this. Now where the recon drone really shines, pro pipe. <laughs> it's um, in objective games like Domination, in case you haven't noticed. If you can figure out where the entire enemy team spawns, you can basically tag them and bag them. It's, it's just kind of... It's, it just makes the entire map into a kill zone for your team because they know where everybody else is, and they're not afraid to use that information. Now, if, if you're not familiar with the recon drone's effects, when you mark someone with the recon drone, it temporarily blinds them, and they're given a permanent UAV marker on the minimap. Of course, that's not as useful if the counter UAV or any MP is on, but anyone with Assassin Pro well, would still be thankful, I guess. So here I am, just marking a bunch of people. This is a pretty high scoring recon drone, as you can see from all the plus 10s. 
I start to hit the azimuth limit, so I pull back down. That's one thing you gotta keep in mind. And then it's over. Okay, now, one thing you have to remember, again, yes, there's a bunch of one things I know when you're using a recon drone, is that you're going to get shot down a few times. Mostly by teams that get really, really mad at getting spied on. In this case, I'm, I'm marking some guys on interchange, I'm up against the highway here. There's a guy in that buzz, and I try and tattle him out to my, to my team of a voice before getting out for a few. This guy starts shooting at me, so I mark him for good measure. And I try and do a little um, avoidance dive here. I always try to put a building or some cover between you and the enemy. I still get shot down though. Now, when you're using the recon drone, your primary enemy is going to be the SAM turret and people with stingers. Now here, another one on interchange. I'm marking quite a few people very early on in my flight. Not even 10 seconds in. And I can see already from the beginning there's a turret mine, so I go and investigate it because curiosity killed the cat, you know. Try and tag that guy, no afraid. This little glitch appears in theater sometimes, so I don't know what it's about. Anyway, I, we see the SAM turret. I'm trying to block a line of sight. I pop up just long enough to tag it, and I swoop around because I know there's another SAM turret to be marked. Pop up, tag it. The other one locks onto me, but it's not locked on enough for me to get hit. So then I swoop back around and avoid them both. I'm looking around for some guys to mark. There's a guy on a kill streak of some sort on that computer. So then I get one behind, not fast enough to save our guy though. Now, just because you're expecting to get shot down a lot doesn't mean you should go blindly into getting shot down. In this case, I call in a recon here and getting Mosquito 3. Maybe it's 2. Not quite see which. Mark a few guys, point, push them towards Alpha. Then I swoop over here because they have a large concentration between Charlie and Bravo. That guy's not very happy with me or something, I don't know. So anyway, I mark these guys. Thanks for there's no one exploiting the map glitch on that post. Anyway, I see that and I'm down. Another example of stupidity, however, one that is more of a worth it, if I may paraphrase freak. I get in a recon drone, I merely swoop over to Alpha because I see a lot of guys there. So I'm marking them all up. They, they've already gotten very attentive to my recon drone because I've been in this lobby for a bit. They start shooting at me, but since I've already marked their entire force concentration at Alpha, I think that was pretty much worth it. Another very good tactic to use with the recon drone is the hunter-killer method. I just left this in because I I don't really know why I left this in. So anyway, I call in the recon drone. And there's a few guys on the ground who are willing to work with me here. So I'm popping in targets left and right. One of them gets sniped literally a second after I target him. And I swoop over here for this guy. I mark him, he gets tagged. I mark him. He gets tagged. Eventually. So then I go ahead and scout ahead for him before I move on to my next objectives. That stealth bomber should have hit me, but apparently recon drones are immune. I tag a few more guys getting towards A before the kill streak runs out. I think Tom Drone is actually kind of fun once you get used to it, I have to say. Yeah. Here on resistance, it's a little bit harder to use the recon drone, but it's far from impossible. It's still a very open line. Lots of high ceilings. So right away, I swoop towards the middle. There's always a few guys camping in the middle. Um, well, I guess it depends on which team you're on. Usually they're other. I notice that they're spawning around here, so I get quite a few easy tags. Then I just keep on going down the long winding road, plying my trade, if you will. That guy didn't show up, I don't know if it's assassin or blind eye. I know that there is one perk that lets you become invisible to being marked, and another that makes you not show up with a little red chevron, but I don't know which perk it is. Assassin or blind eye. So then I swoop back around get a few more. Get tangled up in the tree. Get that gun. 
So then finally, I put this in. So if, again, the glitch with theater mode hits awfully quickly. As you can see, I'm not actually aiming there. I'm still getting tags. So there's an escort edge, but it's already been picked up by those security it seems, so I decided not to go for it. I mark a turret that seems to be giving our guys a little bit of trouble. And get all the guys just sitting on that part of the street. I make an EMP, and I don't know what I'm doing, so I appear to like kind of just fly into the building. Which raises another excellent point. There's a lot of scenery on the map that isn't solid for recon drones. Usually stuff on top of buildings. Just try and keep that in mind, you don't have to fly perfectly. Just good enough. And I tag a few more people. Trying to wear out the duration of my recon drone. Four years.